Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes you'll need to render images with very large resolutions. If you want to render in ProRender, you might face the challenge of not having enough memory on your graphics card. The whole scene geometry, all of the textures and baked shaders, the final rendering and anything else that has to do with the rendering needs to fit into the graphics card's memory, which can fill up quite quickly. And once it's full, the scene won't render. So how can you avoid this problem and still render at large resolutions? The answer is bucket rendering. Bucket rendering splits the rendering into multiple parts. This decreases the amount of memory needed for rendering on the GPU and makes it possible to render at all. The resulting parts will be put back together in the system memory, which is usually much bigger than the memory of the graphics card. To enable bucket rendering, go to the offline render settings of ProRender, open the bucket rendering section and check Enable. Now you can choose a bucket sequence and more importantly, the bucket's resolution. Set it as big as possible in order to keep the bucket count low. Fewer buckets render a bit faster than many buckets do. Once you set it up the way you want, hit Render. Now the image will be rendered because the buckets are small enough to fit into the graphics card's memory. Thanks for watching! For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.